Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we finished the first scenario in the Montezuma campaign, Reign of Blood. So in this scenario, or in this episode, we're going to begin the second scenario, the Triple Alliance. Let's let the narrator get us started. Passed down to you by Guautemoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. The gods were still uneasy, for another omen appeared that same year. The temple of the demon Huitzilopochtli burst suddenly into flames, although it was made of stone. When the people hurried to pour water on the fire, it burned with even greater violence. I asked our Emperor Montezuma what we needed to do to appease the guards. His haughty priests made that predictable reply. The Aztec Empire needed more prisoners. The Sun God, the Rain God, and even the Feathered Serpent Quetzalcoatl were angry deities that required sacrifice. Our city-state of Tenochtitlan is allied with two others, together composing the Triple Alliance. Montezuma intended for the Triple Alliance to attack our longtime enemies, the Tlaxcala. I sent the traditional shield, arrows, and cloaks to the Tlaxcala, declaring to them that they would soon be attacked. Then, we marched out into the forests, our jaguar and eagle banners ready to clash with the heron banners of the Tlaxcala. The birds in the rainforest canopy took to the sky, eager to be away from the violence that was to come. Alright, so our main objectives are deliver the summons of war to Lush Lush Kapan Town Center, deliver the summons of war to the Texcoco Town Center. Castle Age, population limit 100, Eagle Scouts, find a suitable location for the town. The Aztecs have two powerful infantry, Jaguar Warriors, anti-infantry, and Eagle Warrior, which are good anti-everything else. Beware of the Tlaxcalan warships on streams and rivers. Okay. Give this a shot. We have four troops. Oak. Assume we could just go straight in. Because they are our allies. So I cool. guess we just go and do the objective. I guess we'll find out. Emperor Montezuma insists that you make war on the Tlaxcala. The Tlaxcala are the red enemy. Okay. So we need to go to Texcoco Montezuma now. Montezuma oversteps his authority, but we will comply. Bantelwun. Is here. I'm gonna take a minute. Let's not go that way. Cool. Hold on. Let's. Can we go this way? Maybe that is the best way. That's the way that their scout is going. Go this way? Interesting. There's no crossings to this river. Okay, that must just be a, a small little base there. Okay. Cool. Going then. And go straight there. Oak. There's a uh, relic. Can we pass another one back here someplace? Or did I just look at that one twice? Oh, I guess that was it. Just the one so far. Sorry. I like 
kill the sound. Montezuma of the Aztec demands that as a member Walk. of the Triple Alliance, cool. you attack the wicked Tlaxcala. Montezuma asks us to do much for the Aztecs, Montezuma. but we shall do his Walk. bidding for now. Let's go look over here. There's a lot of gold there. I see there's gold now down here. Now we can attack the Tlaxcala. Here. Villagers are being sent by transport. Uh, here's the villagers. Plan to establish our forward base. Is there maybe some fruit Bantu. around here? Bantu. Bantu. No fruit. Bantu. We are in the feudal age, though, so we should be able to build some farms. No, not the, not the ship. We don't need the ship. I guess this area... Oh, there's some fruit right there. Look at that. Fruit. Hey, okay, town center. Right there. Keep exploring. While they build... Hopefully, at least most of them go on to fruit gathering, although we have plenty of food. We can build a lot of villagers right away. Definitely want to set up some defenses here. And I, of course, definitely want to do some exploring and find out what we might have available to us besides a bunch of trees. A little bit of stone would be good. Oh, there was stone back here where we started at. Somewhere nearby? Something? Ah, over there. In the other town's kind of base. There must be some over here somewhere, too. Ah, town center built. Good, half and half. That's good. Ooh, we need more houses. You will not be cutting down trees today. Why don't you come, like, back here someplace? Outside, outside. Outside, outside. Bantu. There you go. Cool. Oh. Have we here? Bantu. Anything? Not a thing. Oak. Bantu. Cool. More trees. You would think we were in like a jungle or something. Oak. Cool. Alright, now we should start getting villagers Bantu. again. Bantle Yep. And that's the edge of the map again. Bantle Why would you put a couple more on wood gathering? Although we need the food more right now. Well, we need about the same. We need a lot of both. At least I can quickly jump back and forth. Oh, you're done. Okay, good. More houses then. Cool. Then we'll build some more something Oak. else's. Cool. Alright, well that area of the map kind of yielded a whole lot of nothing. Over here next. A little spot there, but that's fine. Oh, this one. Uh, another one of you. Alright, builder. You need to go and build. Probably a barracks would be good sooner rather than later. Before Flash Kala decides to start, start stabbing you. Okay. Oh, there's some stone right there. Not super close, but... We can go and mine it. 
and a couple of villagers up there to mine it. Oh, I missed these two of these. Go start working on gold. More villagers. Alright, that's probably enough exploration for now. Although we could go do this a little bit over here too. This is kind of not worth it. Eight. Go. And a couple to do the, deal with the stone. We could come over here and explore this island. Right up there. Okay, good. Well, we'll go do some stone. Alright, now we probably should do an archery range as well. At some point, Cortez is going to come in past us too. That's fun. There's some more stone there. That's a, that's also fairly close. Two stone, two gold. Probably more wood because we're going to start building a bunch of buildings here. Okay, and is there fish here. There is fish here. We could build a dock. Probably will need it. Right, you guys come down here now. Over here and look what's over here. There's a decent amount of fish in here, so that would be good for supplementing food production. Eagle Scouts. Can't get those yet. Need to upgrade to the Castle Age very soon. Two Feudal Age buildings first. Let's do this and this. When you're done with that, build a blacksmith. A couple of fishing ships, a couple of galleys for defense. Start with. That's what we'll need the wood for more than anything. Actually, gonna need a bunch of wood here very soon. Like now. Right, here's a clear spot. This will be good for farming. Okay, so we could try sailing over to this island to see what's here. As it is, we can't get there without sailing. Ah, there's the range upgrade. That's always nice to have. Let's do like this, like I usually do. Building these on hills is always a challenge, and of course that one won't fit because of reasons. Ah, you're done as well. Go over there and fish. And then you guys can come out here and kind of close off that opening to our little our little bay here. Time to do the upgrade. Yes, it is. What happened to my builder? Oh, did he come and help? He came and helped build farms. Okay. Now we have a she builder. Not a he builder. Maybe it's time to build one of these in this area. Do those two while we're waiting for other things. And also do this one. Okay, as soon as the age upgrade's done, we should have more stuff to build, like a castle. Okay, 
He also might be built in this gap. Maybe best to build in this gap. That's the kind of the widest gap. Yeah, there our enemy just got upgraded to or no, one of our one of our allies just upgraded to Castle Age. Our enemy has already been there. And this one. Guys, one of you guys start working on these trees right here instead of walking around the long way. Actually, both of you can work on those trees. Okay, Castle Age, what do we have to build with here? Oh, yes, University would be good to do sooner. Back here, out of the way a little bit. This is a non production building, and then we'll do a monastery. Out here someplace. Do that upgrade. That upgrade. Even though it's expensive. I want to do all those again. Are they all available? They are all four available. Well, let's see. I'd like to put the monastery like right here in the center of town. Actually, it's kind of a good place. Then the castle goes out here. That'll give that one a little bit of work to do. Okay, we can upgrade to the Eagle Warriors now. The Jaguars are at the castle, I think. Obviously, there's some upgrades here that I'd like to do. Probably a couple more woodcutters. Then I want to do these upgrades as well. Dude, we need to do the farm upgrade soon. Very soon. Not close. Not close enough yet. Excellent. That one would be good to have when these guys start running out of food. Make sure that it's done before I build any more farms. There we go. Almost done. What are you guys doing? Like, standing around? Okay, it's done now. Outside. Out of wood. Build wood faster. Thank you. I know, not enough wood. get them built. Need more houses too. Once our guys done building the or our builders done building the castle there. Oops, I missed that one. What do you have left? Because then we can build oh we can. Nice. We can build that final farm closer again. Oh we just loaded a bunch of wood in. I don't know how we did that. There we go. Those upgrades at some point. Let's do one next. A plumed archer. Okay, houses. That's what we wanted you to do now. because I just built a bunch of houses. There we go. You all doing over here with the stone. Mining away. Put you on defensive mode. Oh. 
do that. I'm gonna put another castle out here if I get enough stone in. This one could probably just be defended by a tower or two. Oh wow, they're really staging, Texcoco's really staging the uh, plumed archers here. I hope you're not stuck in there. No, good. Yeah, that should help. A lot of gold right now, but it won't last long. Skirmishers. Yeah, we probably should build some skirmishers. Kind of building around this little forest here, but... if that's lined up right or not, but that'll be okay. One more after that. Now let's do another range one here. Here's our Jaguar Warriors. So they'll go there. They'll spawn here. They'll spawn here. I should also build a siege workshop. Okay. Right? Yes. I should probably also build a market and send some marketers going around back and forth. That would be good. Put that out here someplace. Then the siege thing. I made myself a little crowded in here. Mm, I guess down here by the water. Not great, but it'll work. I should have built this closer or further so I could squeeze the siege workshop in there. Okay, we did the equal warrior upgrade. Infantry do more damage, that's worth it. Or gets buildings, but still infantry move 10% faster. That's not we're not gonna build any militia with the eagle warriors. Cost more gold. They do a lot more damage, take a lot more damage, and have a lot more resistance. So it's worth it. do all of those. Right. You all need, probably need to come back here and be on defensive posture. Don't need you running all over the whole map. These are not ranged either. So yeah, we definitely want to have some ranged units. Speaking of which, we do that research. If I build towers, I'll do this one. If I build anything near the water, I'll do this one. And if I build any walls, I'll do that one. But otherwise, that's it. Do the elite skirmisher. I do plan on making those because we'll do this upgrade for them. That'll be useful. That'll be useful. And then we'll wait on that and we just run out of gold. Oh, you're done. Okay. Well, you might as well. I think you're done building everything now. Might as well come down here and work on gold. Build. A couple of these. Hopefully we get that gold accumulated so I can turn or hit this one before we start sending them out. If not, not a huge deal. There you are. So they, I presume, 
have a market someplace. I didn't look, but... We're being attacked. There it is. Right there. Alright, we're going to have to go and help them soon. Now I wanted to build another castle up here. Okay, we should probably build some some units now. Ten of those. Ten of those. I think that'll build a whole lot of those just yet. Couple more villagers. Oh wow, the Tlash Islands have four town centers. One, two. Wow, that's a lot of military buildings there. Three. Probably the fourth one's found in. a hidden temple to oh. Laluk, the rain god. Hidden the magicians temple. say that if we bring ten jaguar warriors to this location, we will be rewarded. Oh, well, we're going to do that then. That we will do. The other one's probably still hidden. The other town center. Or I missed it panning over. Two of you need to build me another castle out here, somewhere, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. And I'll get you on probably gold mining. Oh, we had more gold down here. So go down there and mine some of that. What are you doing in stone? Let's see. Uh -huh. That would be useful. That would be useful. of those. Never did do that. That's okay, it just makes the trade cocks a little slower. Good. Yellow is out here beating up on them. That's good. What do we need for these? Gold again. We need gold for all these as well. The jaguars are the anti... Anti-cavalry. Two of you are done now. Down here. Build one of these. Go and do this upgrade. Or research, I should say. I guess it's an upgrade. Bunch of gold. That's three. I should actually make maybe some of these spearmen put in them. I 
They are better around. So they take four. So if I make 20, or if I make five, I need 20. That'll be number five. And then we'll round out our army with the rest of uh, his other units. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. guys are done, I'll have you come up here and mine some of this stone as well, just so we have it. Group four. You guys are group two. Three. One. There we go. Alright, now I can build five more of them. Probably a couple of monks. Well, let's wait and see. May either need to remove some villagers or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I have too many. Actually, probably just when these two are done with this last fishing hole, I can probably just remove them. Yeah, we're going to run out. We have 11 in the queue and only 8 spaces left. Oh, you two are done. Could remove them and not worry about more stone, but I'm a little greedy. So we're going to worry about the stone. Up there. Leave this building here as a scout. Did that upgrade. Any other upgrades we need? These ones. Okay. Excellent. I would like a couple of those, so I, I think I will delete units. We can have a couple of monks. The alternative would have been to not make all of these. Just let these be slow. Put them in group one. That way, in case uh, they lose their ride, they can join in with the fun on foot. Four. 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 And four. See you now. How close are y'all being done? A couple more trips. Delete a couple of these, maybe. Okay. Give us two more spaces. We need one, two, three, four, five. So we need to delete one more villager. Maybe a gold miner. Because we have the two carts now. Trade carts. Okay. And then the two of you, once you're done with the fish there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Just be our last two. Get them built. But I think that's where we should end the episode. Um, I know it's kind of anticlimactic, but in the next one, we'll go ahead and visit this uh, temple here. And then we can start picking on them one building at a time, working our way across their landscape and destroying whatever thing we see. All right, so thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.